friends, welcome to Peace Through Plans. I'm Tara, and I'm glad you're with me today. Today, um, I would like to update you. I think I updated you on everything with the light, but I'm going to update you on something different today. My Inferiums. Um, if you saw one of my last couple videos, I talked about I was going to put my, well, I think I had already put a couple of my Inferium in uh, their drainage vessels and they were doing good. Well, it's continued. So now um, I have not, I've been like nervous to buy more Inferium until I was sure that I could grow them because uh, I didn't do real well with them initially. And there are some that I would really like to have, and now I'm feeling more confident about buying them. So um, I'm thinking there's going to be more Ethereum in my next unboxing. So um, I just wanted to show you now. It has it's been a happy ending story, but there's been a lot of trial and error in the process. But um, we'll go with that one first. This is what's left of the queen. Um, one leaf. We have one leaf here. She was just transferred over to this little mason jar I have here um, about two weeks ago. And she was in drainage up until then and was not happy. So since I've had her in here, there's this leaf was damaged, I think, right there from something else. I don't know what that is, not pest or anything, but um, we'll see. We'll see how she does. Uh, but yeah, I switched her over to this because the other ones that I have in uh, put in glass vessels have been doing really well. This one here is the Anthurium Magnificum, and she actually got this really big leaf. It it actually tore on the bottom, and where I have her, nothing happened to her. So I have no idea why that occurred. But anyway, she has two. I would say pretty leaf at this point, and I'm happy with it since she's been in this. Now, she has been in their drainage for a while now, and she's doing really well. And um, like I said, she's happy. She's happy girl. Oh, I love the ring light right there. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm really glad about it because, like I said, now I feel more confident to get more Ethereum. And this one here, these are the names that I slaughter terrible. Uh, Paladiforum, I think. Anthurium. And I love these strappy plants, I think people are referring to them as. And when they are doing well and healthy, their leaves, I don't even know if the camera's going to do it justice, but their leaves get like a sheen to them that's really beautiful. Um, that I didn't even know they did, but... This, this one's very happy in this little mason jar. And look at her root. She's got roots right there. Right here. She's doing super good. Uh, the ones in their drainage have been doing amazing. I mean, absolutely amazing. I wouldn't try that with any of my other plants, obviously. But uh, for some reason, I guess, you know, I mean, what I read is if you let the roots go dry, even for a short period of time on an Ethereum, you can have a lot of problems <laughs> so maybe that's maybe that's the ticket you know if you forget to water it for a couple days or you know well a week I water these like once a week um, you can get into a dam but with no drainage you know you're okay and I mean the roots are I was just so impressed uh, with how well they're doing and this one here too this is our uh, anthurium Red rich I don't know. I'm not even gonna try that one. Um, this is a pretty popular one. I see a lot of people with this one, and the leaves on this are just like I said, gorgeous. I mean, I, th I hope you can see like how they have that like sheen to them on the camera because it's really really pretty. They just look so healthy and and glowy and. This one here has a lot of this backwards action going on. I don't know what that's all about. She came like that. She stayed like that. So I just let her go. Um, but, and, I mean, look at her roots. Look. 
she's that's a new one right there. She just bought out not too long ago. Trying to cover it the light. There you go. Um, but they're all through. I don't know if you can see it on the other thing, but yeah, she's got good roots all throughout there. Happy, happy girl. So I pick up these little things. Well, some of these I had um, from like you know people giving you flowers or or whatever. Um, and just saved them and then I went out and thrifted a couple more so my next unboxing because I plan on getting more in Mariam's now and I thrifted some more uh, glass vessels really cheap um, like a buck or two maybe three dollars I don't know they were cheap and then the last one I'm going to show you of my Ethereum is um, the Patric Patricia no, I'm sorry this is not an Ethereum scratch that this is a philodendron I'm gonna show you. But she also went in, um, and I would, I don't, I don't I'm please, I don't advise this. It just was an experiment that I did and it seems to be working out okay. Um, I put her in this. This is no drainage. And this is my, uh, I'm gonna try to say it again, philodendron patriciae. I have a smaller version of this. It is in drainage, um, but this one was in no drainage, and I figured I was going to give it a go because she looked pretty rough when I got it, um, and she had a lot of damage on her leaves. Like there, I just cut actually a piece off when I put her, repotted her, but um, she actually has growth points now. That's I put her in here. So I mean. They're looking better. I mean, she might have had a teeny, teeny, weeny something happen. I think it was this one, maybe, when I got her. But um, now this one's doing, I don't, actually, I don't know what it's doing. It looks very weird. But it's just like two little, two little points there coming out. I'm hoping it's leaves. I don't know. But anyway, she was looking so not good that I just figured what the heck. Because um, she was seriously... I was afraid she was just gonna go on her way out. Um, she was big when I got her from Exus Nera. Um, she was the bigger one, but she's got these big, big leaves, but she was pretty beat up. Um, if you go back to my unboxing videos, you can check it out. The leaves are definitely not in perfect condition, but um, it was still pretty, and she still is pretty, I think. I, I like her. She's a little, a little big and a little wild for you know, my house, <laughs> but, but we'll see. Now, I do not recommend putting philodendron in um, no drainage because they can be prone to root rot, as we all know, but for this experiment that I'm doing right now, which I might flip her over to drainage, um, when she, you know, looks like she's ready to deal with it, I guess, um, we'll see. I don't know. Maybe I won't. And I'll see how she I'll see how she feels about it. I'll like her, let her choose. But uh, yeah. So anyway, she's in this this glass vessel too, and and happy. So I think it really just depends sometimes on the plant, your environment, and your home. You know, if their flower pots dry, if their pots dry out faster because you keep it warmer in your home, or there's not a lot of humidity. Um, I do have humidifier a humidifier running um it stays pretty humid in my house but uh like i said i mean i'm really happy with the way the ethereal are doing i will as far as i can tell as of today things can always change obviously but as far as i can tell today from the way my ethereum are doing they will probably stay in their drainage because they just are doing so well why would I change it um, and they made a big improvement when I switched them over to this when they were in drainage they did not look like this so um, like I said the sheen on the leaves wasn't there like that the roots growing rapidly and so healthy they weren't doing that um, so I'm, I'm happy with that but anyway um, that's just what I do and what I did, everybody, you know, do what works for you. Um, I can only share my experience and, and what I'm doing and experimenting with over here. Um, 
and share it with you guys. But I hope everyone is having a, a good weekend and hopefully, well, it's just about over, but I hope you had a good one and hope you have a wonderful week and please take care of yourselves and thank you for spending some time with me today and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll have an unboxing video coming up soon. So, um, it will most likely be for Aquagenera. So, um, I look forward to sharing that with you too and please take care of yourselves. See you next week. Bye.